What does Kanye think of your Kanye? I don't think he likes it, but... Uh, <laughs> Has, have, you, have you interacted? Have you talked about it? Uh, no. No. <laughs> uh. Hey guys, welcome to Stir Crazy, the only talk show that comes with free candy corn. You know my guests today from SNL and two new Halloween horrific films, Scare Me and Vampires vs. the Bronx. It's Chris Red. Oh! Hey, what's up, man? Don't. I had a whole that, that was a whole little, you know, Halloween booth fit for the for the real ones out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you a Halloween guy, Chris? Is this your holiday? Yeah, man. I do I love Halloween. I think last year was maybe my latest Halloween where I I had um I didn't prepare for it, so I just wore um some vampire fangs and a Cassius Clay jacket and I was a vampire Muhammad Ali. It's the laziest. <laughs> That's the, that's the way to do it. You just combine. You just take two different things and be like, no, don't you get it? See? Yeah, I bite and I box. Like, I was <laughs> it all night. And it was just the dumbest, <laughs> it was just the dumbest thing I've ever done. Um, congratulations on your two new films. You got Scare Me and Vampires vs. the Bronx. Uh, two very appropriate films for the season. Uh, can we officially anoint you? Are you the new master of horror? Are you the guy? I mean, I'm working my way to it, man. Horror comedy, I'm trying I'm trying to just get my foothold in horror comedy. You know what I mean? A little bit of woo! <laughs> I, mean, I like that. I like that mix a lot, man. I really do. It's funny, as we get older, I question whether like iconic horror villains were actually scary or are they lame? Let, let me run through a couple like famous horror villains. You tell me if they're lame or actually legit scary. But the number one guy, Dracula. Is Dracula legit scary or is he a little bit lame? Dracula can be scary. Um, uh, it also can be lame. So you take you take a really well done scary Dracula who's like manipulative and, and, and working in the world and can f figure out his way through sunlight. Then you also got Sesame Streets. Uh, <laughs> right. Dracula, yeah. he's like, oh, this is a friendly man who likes to count. <laughs> Yeah. What about what about Frankenstein? Frankenstein doesn't. I don't know. Frankenstein seems like too much of an idiot to scare me. He seems he's like a moron. Yeah, I wouldn't be scared of Frankenstein if I was a a, a good amount of distance away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he's not fast. No. He's not a fast man, and he's still trying to. Well, I can live. Like, he's too big. He can't yeah. catch me. But I feel like a lot of them uh, have that similar problem. Like Jason. Again, Jason seems scary if he gets to you, but. How fast is Jason? Yeah. Jason's not really that quick. Jason's, but, and it also he's, he lets you know he's coming like, shh, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> What about Freddy Krueger? Freddy, is Freddy scary? Freddy Krueger, yes. yes. Freddy Krueger's scary. He's scary because he can attack you in your sleep. You gotta go to sleep. That's, that's, that was terrifying as a kid. Like, you'd be awake like, uh oh, Freddy gonna get you. The leprechaun? Is the leprechaun scary? The leprechaun scared the shit out of me when I was a kid because uh, my family is from Mississippi, so we would go down there all, all the time. And my cousin uh, let us watch the leprechaun when I was like eight years old. And every time the leprechaun would jump out, he would jump out. And he helped terrify me uh, of, of that movie, <laughs> which made me watch all the, all those movies it's until I wasn't scared anymore. Oh. So. <laughs> Leprechaun is not scary. No, because I kick that motherfucker. But uh, <laughs> but yeah. it, it, I have to acknowledge that it, it did scare me as a child. Right. Uh, um, all right, I've got some random would you rather questions for you, Chris. You ready? Would you rather never perform stand up again or never watch pornography again? Never watch pornography again. You're giving it up because I would give it up because I love stand up too too damn much. And if you if you're successful enough, you can live in a porn. <laughs> <laughs> you can live the life instead of watching it. Yeah, there you go. Would you rather have the ability to turn water into wine or read Lorne Michaels' diary? I would rather turn water into wine, cause then I could get people drunk, <laughs> like Lorne, and just ask for the diary. <laughs> Live hack, <laughs> baby. Love it. <laughs> These are too, too easy for you. Would you rather lose control of your bladder or your bowels during a live sketch on SNL? What makes me want to say bowels is because it, it's because you, either, it may, you may catch it all. Because <laughs> bladder, everybody going to see bladder happening. Yeah. That's just happening. There's, there's nothing but to catch. Bowels, just, yeah. You, yeah, you could have like a one-liner, two-liner, 
You know what I mean? You, people gonna smell it, and it's gonna be nasty, and it's not gonna feel great. But it, 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 you may be able to get away with no one seeing it. This just depends on what kind of boo boo you talking about. That day, you know? <laughs> I should I should have made the question more specific. That's my fault. <laughs> I'll get back to you on the size of the boo-boo. Uh, um, would you rather lose all of your teeth or be completely hairless? Ha, huh, I would rather be completely hairless because I am damn near bald now. And, <laughs> and it's all right. It's a good life. It's all right. <laughs> would you rather spend a day in the body of Eddie Murphy or Kanye West? I think Kanye West, because I could do a lot in a day. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I like enough tweets. I see. And, and, you know what I mean? And I could, I could, re I could redirect history. I could make a few more tweets and make some big life decisions. Yep. And then, but when he wakes back up as him, it's like, yeah, man. Was your take on Kanye easy to come up with? Were you surprised that Kanye took off as much as it as it did? I'm a, I am a huge fan of Kanye. Like, I, I, you know, I, um, I listen to everything that Kanye has done. Do I agree with all the things outside of the music? Of course not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's, he's totally got <laughs> all the right ideas. Yeah, oh, he has like, a lot of ideas for sure. <laughs> but it, it, so I always, I always had like a version of him. Um, I, it was it was really cool to see people like embrace the impression. What does Kanye think of your Kanye? I don't think he likes it, but uh, <laughs> Has, have you have you interacted? Have you talked about it? Uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, but you know, I I feel like I feel like I, I know when people like stuff and don't like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> And so, and so, uh, you know, when he was trying to do it, he, he, he had said that he wanted Danny McBride to play him in a movie. And I was like, I guess he's not fond of my impression. Uh, I always challenge folks on Stir Crazy with a game of quarantine. I'm gonna name a famous SNL character. You tell me if you'd want them in the bunker there with you. Would you want to live with them right now? Let's go, let's go with Eddie Murphy first. Eddie Murphy's Gumby. Would Gumby be a good person to have in your apartment with you right now? Probably not, because he would probably like talk shit about my whole life, and <laughs> it would it wouldn't be pleased with anything. And uh, as fun as that would be for the first hour, uh, yeah. I think over time he'd be like, "Gumby, man, will you just chill? <laughs> chill the fuck out, Gumby. Come on, <laughs> chill out, fam." <laughs> And my couch is gonna be green too. Right. So I think that at some point I was sitting on him on accident, and that caused the whole thing. <laughs> would uh, Would Debbie Downer be too much of a downer right now to have in quarantine? Oh, 100 percent. You gotta you gotta maintain your energy, man. You gotta maintain your energy. Debbie just De Debbie just always knows how to kill the mood. How How about Stefan? You don't. You certainly don't want to go out clubbing right now. Would that be tough to have Stefan in there with you? I think it'd be tough. I think Stefan would be a cool person to have uh, in, the, in the house, but I don't think he would stay in the house enough for me to trust him. You right. know what I mean? Right. It just seems like he's always trying to be in the know and be where people are, and that's the exact opposite of the life I'm living. <laughs> so, so, um, so I could trust his lifestyle. What about Wayne and Garth? They're great, but do they have the same musical taste as you? Would that work? Yeah, 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 that would work because they could teach me a lot about rock. I could teach them a lot about hip hop. We could yep. probably collab and make some real fun stuff together. They look like they smoke hella weed. So it would be <laughs> good. I think it'd be a good, that'd be a good combination. Uh, the Dick in the Box guys, would that be? On the island. Oh, as the Dick in the Box guys? Yeah. You know, I don't have enough boxes in here. So I feel like at one point they dicks is going to be out. And that's just <laughs> For everybody. Yeah. Or every time you open an Amazon box, what's in that's like, huh, what's in there? Yeah, man. I don't need to play peekaboo with your dick, man. Put that away. <laughs> there's, there's, enough, that away. there's enough excitement going on right now without that. We're good. All right, Chris, since you're the new master of horror, I have a challenge for you. All right. We're going to see if we can make any phrase, any phrase sound scary. Sounds good. I'm so tired. I've been watching Emily in Paris all weekend. My childhood nickname was Joshy Washy. I know the Chipotle guy. He hooks me up with all the guac I want. 
I'm sure you get this a lot. Your eyes really make that shirt pop. I love the feel of good and really. I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> Uh, you win, Chris. That was, can you make anything sound scary? The answer is yes. Well done. Yeah, man, nothing but terrified life I live. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs>